This video is intended for audiences over the age of 13. If you are not 13 years or older, please click away from this video now. You have been warned. Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James, aka JP, back again with another Toy Room Review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Back to the Future Nano Hollywood Rides by Jada Toys. Now these are really, really cool. These are like a mix between Micro Machines and Hot Wheels. They're not quite as big as Hot Wheels, but not quite as small as Micro Machines. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at these. Now these are really cool. These are made by Jada Toys. If you guys are familiar with all of my Fast and the Furious diecast videos that I do, this is the same company that makes that, so we know the quality quality should be top notch. But let's go ahead and take a look at it. So getting into the packaging here, I really like the overall appearance of the packaging. This works really well if you do want to keep it in the packaging because you can hang it up uh, right here or it also has a lip right here on the bottom that you can actually just stand it up right by itself. If you want to display it on a shelf or something, it will stand up just fine and that is really, really cool. Now I definitely love the background right here as we take a look. You can obviously see it's the DeLorean right here. That famous Back to the Future movie poster right there they're looking very very nice and then right here you can see the open window which has each of the DeLoreans which each of the movie titles right on there back to the future time machine back to the future 2 time machine and back to the future 3 time machine and a nice little detail is actually the dates right here that we can see ripped straight out of the movie so that is very very cool very nice detail right there collectors diecast series right there and then on the back you really don't have anything you have a picture of the DeLorean and then a bunch of like copyright legal stuff and whatever so that's it for the packaging so so let's go ahead and get these out of the packaging and take a closer detail. Yeah, so look really quickly before we actually get into the review, I did want to show you guys a couple of things. Uh, if you did want to preserve the packaging, it is fairly easy to. You just have to carefully lift it up and open it. And as you can see, it will start to tear a little bit of the cardboard. But if you do it carefully enough, you will be able to close it back up seamlessly. So if you did want to keep that on display, which I'm pretty sure that I do want to because I just really love this card back. So that is one thing you can do. And another thing that you can do is when you pull the cards out they actually have these little like cardboard labels right here that we saw in the packaging you could actually take these out and actually like place them in front of the cars on your shelf if you wanted to do something like that or whatever whatever you wanted to do with these you can preserve them and keep them which is very very nice so moving on to the actual so here cars. are the actual cars themselves now this is gonna be a very interesting video because they are so tiny it's gonna be hard to get all the little details on them and I hope my camera stays focused but taking a look at the back to the future DeLorean uh, the original back to to the future DeLorean as you can see this is very nicely detailed for being so small all the little details are still there and we'll start with the paint you can just see that shimmer in the paint that metallic flakes that you see all throughout just looks very very nice and obviously you can clearly tell that it is a DeLorean so it's very nice that all the details are still there regardless of how tiny the vehicle is and now these are die cast so they are you know metal and they do have some weight to them they're not overly heavy but they're not lightweight and cheap either definitely not as lightweight as you would think for them being as small as they are you can see the little exhaust vents right there you can even see right there like the plutonium chamber and all that if the camera will cooperate which it's probably not going to so there let's move go. on so very very nice i know the camera keeps going all in and out of focus because this is just very very tiny i would say these are maybe i don't know two to three inches uh, in length more or less so they're not overly big uh one complaint that i do have is they don't roll as as you guys will see here it does have working wheels but it d doesn't roll like whatsoever like I, I don't know none of them roll so that is one complaint that i have would have been nice to see these be able to roll but they're more display pieces than anything else but again very very nice and it does have this little like opening right here i'm not entirely sure what that little hole is for right there i don't know if that's to put it on some kind of stand or something like that but it, it does have that little hole right there anyways moving on from part one we're going to go on to part two so here's the back to the future 2 flying delorean so here it is so essentially it's going to be all the same details with just a couple differences so obviously the main difference is going to be the hover wheels as you can see right there on the bottom uh, but it also does have regular wheels on the bottom that help elevate it to give it that look that it is flying right there uh, so that is a nice little feature and again these wheels uh, don't really roll either so that is a little downside and it does have that little opening right there again on the bottom again not really sure what that's for 
but coming on to other details that are different you can see the blue lights right here and on the back as well so that is a nice little detail to give it that look of the time traveling effect which is really really cool and it's not colored in but you can actually see the Mr. Fusion sculpted in black right there which is just a very very nice detail that the camera is having a hard time focusing on but even though it is not colored it is cool to see that they actually went through the trouble of actually putting it on there and the camera is not cooperating because it is so small but I think we got a couple shots of it earlier. I'll try and get a picture if we didn't get a good shot of it. Anyways, moving on, you can see those exhaust vents again. And just a very nice paint, man. This paint is just very shiny, very metallic-y. Very, very nice. Awesome detailing right there. But otherwise, other than those few couple details, it is going to be the same exact car. But still very, very nice to see. The added blue detail, the hover wheels, and the Mr. Fusion. Just to differentiate it a little bit from the other. And for a quick comparison, we'll put them side by side if the camera will cooperate. And as you can see, you can see some of the similarities and some of the differences. But definitely when you have them side by side, you can definitely, you know, make out the, that they're different vehicles and that they don't look like just cheap copies of one another. So that is very nice. So moving on to back to the Future 3, which is my least favorite of all the DeLorean designs. But it is still really, really cool to see here. So you can see the little battery pack right there that we have on the hood done in brown. Come on, camera see if we can get a better look there we go and then looking at the wheels the wheels are done with that red metallic paint as you can see right there and then moving on to the front end as well you can see that little piece right there I'm, i forget what that piece is in the movie it's been a while since i've seen the third movie it's my least favorite of the series it's been a while since i've seen it but i forget what that little piece is there but you can see that little lip piece right there on the front but again, moving on, again, you have that great metallic paint again. Mr. Fusion on the back of this one as well. And then coming to the back, the exhaust vents again. And then all the other details are going to be the same. Now, these actually have, like, I guess working suspension. <laughs> as you can see, the wheels do go up and down on these. Whereas on this, it, it does it, but just not as much. And I, I apologize, the camera is having a hard time focusing. There we go. So you can see it does it, but I feel like it does it just quite a bit more on, on this one. As you can see, there's just more of a gap with those wheels. Anyways, moving on. Uh, this on the bottom, again, has that opening. Not entirely sure what it's for. And it does not roll. I, I would say this one probably rolls the best out of all of them. Uh, but still, it, it doesn't roll as much as you, know, you would like to. It's not a, a fluid roll. Uh, but anyways, bringing in the Back to the Future 1 uh, DeLorean, as you can see, quick comparison right there between the two, moving to the back side. Back sides are almost nearly identical with the exception of that Mr. Fusion sticking out, and then on this side as well, and coming to the front. Very, very nice. And then bringing in the Back to the Future 2 DeLorean, as you can see, right there. Again, the backs are going to be pretty much identical on these because of the Mr. Fusions. And then coming to the side. And then back to the front. Very, very nice. So which version of the DeLorean from Back to the Future is your favorite? Me personally, I have to go with the Part 2 version. So just the whole flying effect, the Mr. Fusion. It's just really, really cool. But you can never go wrong with the classic the original DeLorean, but I know some people who are really big fans of the third movie DeLorean. So which one is your favorite? Definitely let me know down in the comments below. And before we wrap up this video, I do want to do a quick comparison so I could just show off the size difference of these and kind of give you guys a sense of how small these okay, actually so are. So for a DeLorean comparison, here are the nano rides next to the, I believe this is a 132 scale DeLorean. This was a Loot Crate exclusive uh, die cast model, which is very, very cool, packed with details. But as you can see, just completely uh, massive compared to the rest of these. Uh, but moving on to a more realistic comparison. Here is a Hot Wheels. So this is a uh, chromed out Batmobile from the 90s uh, Batman movie. And as you can see, let's, uh, let's just put one of these side by side. So the Hot Wheel is still really, really big compared to uh, this Nano Ride right here. But not that much bigger I'd say like it doesn't dwarf it but it is you know a sense bigger I'd say probably two of these make up the length of one Hot Wheel so these are about half the size of a Hot Wheel more or less and um, they're just about as wide so maybe 
I don't know, a Hot Wheel is a little less than half the, the width of one of these. So these are really, really cool, really nice little scaled down models. Really cool to have on display, uh, whether it's by themselves, in the packaging, either way, they work out so really guys, well. So there's my review on the brand new Jada Toys Back to the Future Nano Hollywood Rides DeLoreans. Overall, these are really, really cool. If you're a fan of DeLoreans, if you're a fan of Back to the Future, or if you're a fan of other series, because they do make other series of this as well. I did see some Fast and the Furious versions while I was in the store as well. So that is really, really cool. And these are fairly cheap. I picked these up at Target for, I believe it was $6 for the pack. So that's not bad at all. Two bucks a piece. Definitely worth picking up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. That link's in the description down below. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. So as always, guys, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys next time.